behalf of Troy McKinstry, the principal for LJ Hooker Forest. This is going to be a walkthrough video for you so that you can get an understanding and a feel for it. number nine, Athol Street here in French's Forest. And I think the first thing that you need to be really aware of is that there is no better location than Athol Street. This one here is a nice, easy walk to Glenrose Shop City, Chatswood Bus Services, and also the parks, gyms, theatres, you name it, once we're able to get out in public again. So this is the property here. Now I'm showing you this first because you've got a nice double carport there and you can actually see the architecture of the home um, from this angle quite well. So it is a spacious tri-level house. And uh, as we head up here a little bit further, I'm just gonna point out that you carry up this hill just only another 100 meters and you are at Black Butts Road. And what that means is you are therefore centrally located to absolutely everything. All right, turning in here to your gated entrance, you can see here quite easily. And, uh, and as you walk on in, you're, you're instantly greeted with not only the house itself, but also you're gonna get views as well. And you know, you, you've got a, a swimming pool that has glorious views 24 seven. Now I'm gonna do my best to try and zoom in here and show you the views, but I will give you other opportunities just a little bit later on as well. All right, so right there you can see some nice views and as we head upstairs you're also going to see the city uh, extremely easily as well okay so just panning back out to the property itself big entertaining area here which is really nice now those uh, french doors are from the main living area you've got quite easy access down the side to your own storage shed there's the city in the in the background already let me just try and grab that for you. There it is, nice, clear, easy view, and that's just from the entrance point. Okay, heading on inside. So this is, this is where the tri-level comes into it. So as soon as we walk in, you have the entrance, but you have downstairs access, upstairs to your bedrooms. But we're gonna start on this level here first. Spacious with a pitched ceiling. I'm gonna show you the skylight here as well. So light, bright, spacious, all in the one sentence. You have dining and kitchen living all in the one area. So all of a sudden that entertaining lifestyle becomes a very serious reality. Nice big 900 oven that's made by Smeg and with extractor fans as well. Stone bench top, polyurethane cupboards, breakfast island, room for your microwave there as well just a great open space with real timber floorboards. We also have a New York style laundry here that is tucked away by those bifolding uh, doors and certainly convenient and easy to access. On this level as well, you're gonna have a main bathroom. So this bathroom here has been beautifully updated, is fully tiled, has an IXL uh, extractor fan there with heat lamps your convenience especially in winter and then you have your vanity and nice big mirror there's storage just about everywhere in this home to be honest so it's going to be one that if you're ever looking for storage space it's, it's one to consider now this space here really really nicely designed and certainly an additional feature that you need to think about what you could utilize it for so we've currently got it set up as a tv room come bedroom there's there's uh, air conditioning in here plantation shutters sliding door storage and a little study nook and then that goes through stacking doors now, is it your rumpus room is it that self-contained um, granny flat so to speak for for mum, dad or, or visitors from overseas when we're allowed to to do that or is it a teenage retreat is it that opportunity for you know those kids that want a bit of their own space to to hang out but I personally feel that this is a great adults area because there is also a downstairs rumpus room. Now, you can see that view again is just private. The, the sunset to be magnificent. This is completely covered. So if you, if you look up here, you're gonna see that it's got the laser light covering there. So it still allows all the light to come in, but you can entertain even in wet weather. Nice and private. You can see that uh, that clinker brick on the exterior of the house. 
uh, quite a popular brick to, to utilize um, in the 70s, predominantly in the forest area. And for, for this type of clinker brick, um, it, when it, when you, if and when you want to, you just knock these noggins off and it is an excellent brick to render if you would like to do that. But I find that most people like to retain this brick as it is quite an attractive brick and doesn't show too much age. So just heading back now towards the front of the property and we're going to head upstairs before going down to the rumpus. And you'll be able to see all the bedrooms up there, which I think is a nice um, thing to have when bedrooms are all on the one level. So carpet as we head upstairs now from the floorboards previously. Okay, so one of the three bedrooms up here. So that other one that we just looked at is your, is your fourth bedroom um, option, or there is a fifth also downstairs. And I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. So five bedrooms in total, if you want to call that one, that entry level, your, your fourth. So built-in storage access to the balcony which is really nice and then i'll just give you a quick little view here of the city so unsport view so we're talking about new year's eve we're talking about fireworks talking about any of those special events in the city you can see it happening from your own bedroom this particular bedroom here as you look up has a nice pitch to the ceiling but also air conditioning as well plenty of light coming in from both the south and also the west here all right, heading back around to the next bedroom. So this particular bedroom here has got an easy double in there. Uh, nice room for bedside tables either side. Again, you're taking in that view and also storage as well. This one also has that pitch ceiling just following through consistently on this level. So that will, uh, will certainly make each room feel a little bit more spacious. And we also have access to the balcony here as well. Just behind that curtain, there is another door. Okay. Now you have the main bathroom for this level. So you don't need to head downstairs to go to the bathroom if you're a kid or a guest or somebody staying here. Uh, this one is fully tiled, has a storage cupboard as well as an over bath shower. The vanity has been obviously updated as you can see there. And then as I pan up, you'll see that it's quite a a high set ceiling and uh, with a with a nice window there bringing in that northerly sunlight uh, all day long and certainly giving you good aeration uh, in this bathroom so you're not going to have any mold or damp or moisture issues there which is nice to see the main bedroom as it should be is nice and spacious it has the air conditioning unit as well enough room for a king size bed and then also a storage or Nice little feature table here on the other side of the room just to demonstrate that size. But you have a walk-in robe. That walk-in robe is certainly gonna accommodate uh, his and hers with each side being available there. And you can see it actually has additional storage up the top as well. So this ensuite has been beautifully renovated. Uh, certainly modern, young, fresh. Uh, you've got louver windows in there to allow a bit of uh, air in, but certainly not lose your privacy as well. And then your shower space, quite comfortable there for, for anyone to shower. And uh, the tiles are all the way to this ceiling. All right, so I wanna show you the view from this balcony. So the main also heads out to this balcony that uh, is quite, or runs the whole length of the bedrooms. As you can see here, there's the aircon unit for that uh, aircon inside that first bedroom that we looked at up here but this is your view you wake up with your blinds open because no one else is looking back and you get this view absolutely gorgeous so what you just can't see um, where that palm is sticking up just behind there would have actually been Bondi Junction you would have been able to see there but the palms obviously just taken that view but right here you've got nothing but city Chatswood views Absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take you downstairs to that rumpus room. So this is really a, a, a great opportunity for, for those guests to, to come and stay with you, for your eldest son to, or daughter to, to decide that they want their own space downstairs and, uh, and they can certainly entertain their friends and 
have, have uh, you know, a, a bit of space for them to study on their own. As you can see right here, as we're heading down now, we've just gone past the front door and this is now the bottom level. So you study at home with absolute convenience. And then this rump rumpus is just sensational in terms of size, space, and, and a bit of balcony as well. So you can, you can see why this could be a self-contained space if you so desire. I've seen this floor plan um, in the area previously. You can see there the entertaining deck also again taking in the city views. But this room that we're about to walk into here, this is that fifth bedroom if you so desire. Now, why I say self-contained is because you have this powder room as well. So room for a storage cupboard right where I'm pointing the camera now, but then you've got a powder room here that will certainly be enough space for someone to utilize. And behind the wall, actually I'll just I'll just step back here. Behind the wall in that corner there is where I've typically seen this design have a shower. Again, showing you the city views. View back to that front double carport. And when I turn around this way here, you can see that it's actually interconnecting to that upstairs uh, or entry level entertaining deck. So it, it does work extremely well. Minimal steps to come up here, therefore. And here you are. Private inspections can still be conducted at this stage, so you do need to book something in in order to see this property. You can't just turn up during our allocated time slots, but we do have time slots available at this stage on Wednesdays and Saturdays between 10.30 and 11.30. And, uh, and just make sure you contact Troy to make your 10 minute inspection time so that you can inspect this beautiful property.